Hey guys, it's Adriel from Style Assisted and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an April Favorites because even though it's the middle of April, I already have so much stuff to show you guys and it's half favorites, half regrets, things that I don't really like, haven't liked. So I thought that I would just show you now instead of waiting until the end of the month so you have a new video to watch. So I think what I'm going to do first is do my beauty favorites and then we'll switch into non-beauty or you know what? We'll wing it. I'll just sort of pull over what I like, what I don't like. Okay, first we're gonna get some tea. Because it's amazing. This is like jade citrus or jade something. It's from Tivana and it's delicious. I'm such a tea person. I actually just had kidney stones. I know. Isn't that like the worst thing ever? Yeah, I know. Am I old enough to have kidney stones? Apparently so, because I've had them three times. Anyway, so they tell you not to drink tea. I was like, I have to drink my tea. I can't not drink tea. So I've been cleared to drink tea again. So that's exciting. Okay, so tea actually stains your teeth. On to my first non-beauty favorite. Actually, it's not a favorite. It is a regret. These things. So if you guys don't know, every once in a while I do bleach my teeth, but I use the actual trays and the bleach that you can get from your dentist. Now, the little tubes you get from your dentist, I'll actually do a video about this sometime, but they're only like $10 a tube and you can get three to four uses out of each tube. And you can just buy, if you don't want to pay for the expensive trays, you can actually just buy like night guards that you mold to your teeth with hot water and they work just as well. So the night guards or the teeth guard things are, I don't know, 10 bucks. And then each time you want to, so it ends up being like two to three dollars per bleaching. Anyway, this sucker was like 50 or 60 dollars. This is the Crest 3D White Strips Luxe Professional Effects. Wah, wah. Hated this, actually. <laughs> like, loathed it. It made my teeth ridiculously, ridiculously sensitive. And I even followed the directions on how to reduce sensitivity. And I even bought those stupid Crest Sensi Strip things that they sell that are apparently supposed to help. No, they made my teeth ridiculously sensitive and they didn't bleach my teeth. So after I did this for the entire time and it was terrible and horrible and I hated it, um, I waited a while and then did one treatment for 20 minutes of my regular gel stuff from the dentist and boom, automatically noticeably wider. And I was like, so $50 for nothing versus two to three bucks a pop and I get noticeably wider teeth from the dentist. Yeah, so, no, don't, no, don't use these. They're terrible. I hate them. Sorry, Crest. I mean, I love your toothpaste. These are not worth the money, guys. Okay, so, a favorite and a not-so-favorite. Favorite is Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This stuff I actually got in my last Birchbox. I stopped my Birchbox subscription because... At this point, I have enough hair products and I need more beauty stuff so that I can try it for you guys and it just wasn't, wasn't my thing. So I loved this. This is actually great and it's only $7, $5, it's not a super expensive one. I like it a lot. This one, what I got in a Birch Box as well, is the R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. This stuff is horrible. I hate it. Sorry guys, but I do. Um, it made my hair dirty feeling, like texturizing, and didn't soak up any oil whatsoever. Pointless. And if you're already trying to avoid shampooing your hair by using dry shampoo, and the thing just makes your hair feel dirtier faster, what is the point of that? I was super disappointed, and there's a ton left in this, and I hate it. And I actually gave it three separate tries. I <laughs> gave it three tries to not suck, and was totally disappointed the entire time. So, no, yes. Although, um, my other two favorite is the Dove, which is only like $3, the Dove Dry Shampoo. Fantastic. Love it. And the, um, oh, stink, it's upstairs. The Living Proof Dry Shampoo is really, really good as well. And they smell fantastic. I love them. So, yes, no. Okay, so I have an inexpensive favorite and a very expensive favorite. So the inexpensive favorite is for all of my pale skinned beauties. This is the Elf Sun, I can't talk today. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. Guys, this is the most lightly pigmented bronzer I've ever seen in my entire life and I'm not even kidding. So 
For those of you that are pale and think the other bronzers are way, way too dark, this guy is bronzed very, very, very lightly and has a little bit of a gold glow to it. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it a little bit. So it's, it's really light and it's fantastic. I actually like put it on my hand and thought, I mean, it's pigmented. It's very pigmented, but it's just a light shade. So for all of you pale people that have wanted a little bit of bronze, but put it on and you're like, oh, it looks like I just put brown dirt on my face. This is perfect. And it's like $2. Well, two, four. Um, disclaimer, I'm actually part of the e.l.f. Beauty Squad, so they send me free products every month to try out. And I can let you know if they're awesome, or I can let you know if I just kind of don't like them. Love this one. So they're not paying me to say anything, but I discovered it via my stuff from them, and I was pumped. And I know you guys always talk about needing more products for absolutely fair slash white skin. So this is my favorite pick for pale skinned My Fair Beauties. Now, this is the most expensive lip balm I've ever bought in my entire life. It's the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. So it's this sticky thing. You can get a few colors. I think I got lilac. Did I get lilac? I got lilac. So it's basically this color I've got on my lips right now. So you put it on and it changes a little bit of color to the some natural. I don't know why it changes colors. I don't know how it changes colors. All I know is it feels good on my lips. However. Pro and con. Pro, very moisturizing. I wore this all day today. Loved it. Didn't have to reapply it. Um, but it's super crazy expensive. Like, I will not be repurchasing this. I love it and it's beautiful and all, but it's lip balm. And you guys already know I feel bad about my $20, where is it, uh, fresh sugar lip balms. I love those things. I swear by them. I use the clear one before bed every single night. It is my holy grail, most amazing lip balm on the planet. I love it. This is more expensive than that, and I don't even think it's that fabulous. So this is one of those things that it's cool, but not worth the money. So take that as you will. If you want to spend this much money on a lip balm, then go for it. It's, it's pretty fantastic, but is it like life-altering, I will never buy another lip balm for the rest of my life? No, not at all. So sort of a positive, sort of a negative, meh. you know, I mean, do you really want to spend that much money? It's up to you, but I like it. I'm just not repurchasing. <laughs> okay, so on the list of most disappointing products for the month goes to Matchco Shade Matched Perfection Foundation. Okay, so the stick is you take your phone, let me get my phone, take your phone, you go to this app that you download, and it's literally the Match app, let me find it, so you push it, I don't know if you guys see this, and it pulls up. So what you do is you actually, you can log in via Facebook, and it tells you to scan. So basically what it does is it scans the inside of your wrist, the top of your hand, your forehead, your cheek, your neck. Etc. Etc. So what you do is it makes you calibrate your phone by putting it on top of five pieces of white paper and then you like lift it up so it can calibrate how white your camera feedback is and then you do it all over your skin and it tells you and like walks you through it and it's a really easy process actually. And then I get the product in the mail, which I mean, whoo, upside down. The box, beautiful packaging, beautiful. And then on the back of the foundation, I kid you not, it says exclusively formatted for Adriel Dixon, March 29th, 2016. Very cool. Loved that. So I am totally hooked at this point, right? So I'm getting out of the box. I'm so excited. Has my name on it. I went through this cool process. Prepare to make a wah wah noise. Okay. So I will just do a little bit because you guys will laugh. Boom. Now, does that look like my skin tone to you guys? I don't think so either. Like, this is laughably darker. Like, laughably. I joked with Ian when he saw it. He said, uh, that's not the color of your skin. And I said, I know, it's probably the palest shade that they have. They have contacted me and offered to rescan me because they think that maybe they got the formulation wrong. I, just, whoa, I literally want to say, just send me the palest shade you have. I guarantee that that will be a good tester because I'm always the palest shade, if not paler than the palest shade. I defy 
this match whatever foundation. So, it's a very cool idea. Let me get this off my finger. Hold on a second. Ooh. It's a very cool idea, but it did not work for me. So I will keep you guys updated, but I am super bummed that it didn't work. I mean, the presentation's beautiful, the app's amazing. I was super excited about that. And then the sadness, guys. I was sad. You know? But, okay, so that's going back. Up next for the favorites is this pack from Berrysome. It's called My Limp Tip. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. This is a Korean beauty thing. I ordered this sucker in January, and it just came to me like a week ago. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so you get all of these, and they're lip tints. So what you do is you take one out, pick a color, and then you apply it to your lips, and it's super, super glossy. And I will show you guys. And you apply it pretty thick, actually. Okay, so after you apply this, you actually let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you peel it off like rubber. Not even kidding. Peel it off, and what's left behind is actually a stain for your lips. It's the weirdest thing I've ever used in my life. And every time people ask me how to keep their lipstick in place all day long and how to keep the color. Honestly, anytime you want to maintain color for a long period of time, you need to layer. You need to put a stain underneath your long wear lipstick because that way if your lipstick starts to wear off, you have a stain underneath that will back it up. And stain obviously looks different than a penciled in, lined, beautiful, full lip. So if you put something like this, because obviously there's a lot of shades, you put something like this underneath, then when your lipstick starts to wear off, you actually have a fantastic color underneath. Or you can just wear them on their own. They're cool. If your lips are not exfoliated, when you're peeling it off, it will peel off part of your lips with it. That is painful. I learned my lesson the hard way. Don't do that. Exfoliate your lips before you use this. And in general, that's a good rule to go by when you're putting on lipstick anyway to exfoliate your lips first. But make sure you do this before you put these on. Otherwise, this will exfoliate it for you and it's not very comfortable. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It was kind of painful. So it's called Berry Sum, um, but it took forever. I ordered mine via Amazon, but it took forever to get me because they shipped it from Korea. The instructions in back are in Korean. I'm not even kidding. But this stuff is really cool. And you can buy it per color. Um, I just wanted to get the entire pack because it wasn't that expensive, honestly. And just to kind of see what the the color payout wise on all the different levels. So I will do a swatch video for that if you guys want, or I can do it on my Snapchat. If you guys follow me, it is at Adriel Page. I will probably change that to at Style Assisted eventually. I just haven't yet. Um, but I will do a swatch video so you guys can see kind of what it looks like. But I love this thing. And it's just cool. I mean, it's you can wear it obviously by itself if you want to, or you can wear it underneath one of your favorite lipsticks just to make sure that when your lipstick comes off, you still got some color on your lips, which is great. Now, for the last thing, I actually have two favorites. One is this adorable pouch from Bowden. So it's scalloped, which, oh my goodness, I love scalloped things for spring. I don't know why I love things that are scalloped, but I do. And they're two-toned. They have a few different colors, actually, but this one is cream on one side, black on the other, which I adore. And so you can, you know, pull whichever side out you want. But it's just basically a zipper pouch. I mean, you can use it, I mean, it's super cute on the inside. Look at this liner. I love Bowden. Um, it's a British company. You know, all I love all things British, hence my tea. Um, and the love of soccer slash football and the Queen and Kate. I mean, who doesn't love Kate? Let's be honest. Anyway, love this thing. Love Bowden in general. Um, but yeah. It's leather, it's super cute, was not expensive at all, and I'm super excited to carry for the spring. It's great to just throw a few things in and then go. And so this is top of my list. And then the last thing for April, because I'm a nerd, Star Wars! Sorry, I know the shirt, and if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I apologize. I am watching Star Wars all the time. You guys know I went opening night. I am a nerd. I've always been a nerd. I grew up loving Star Wars. It's just... I love it. And I know, I know, I know, you're judging me, <laughs> but I really do love it. So I bought it when it came out online and then had watched it like 
three or four times before Ian had the chance to sit down and watch it with me. He's like, do you want to watch it again? Like, that's even a question. Of course I do. Um, but then when I was at Target, so we bought the digital copy, right? Online. So I was at Target and the Blu-ray was on sale for $20. So I got that too. Plus, I like having a tangible copy because, you know, it's Star Wars, but Ian just looked at it and saw the digital HD and he's like, so we already own the digital part. And I'm like, it comes free. But, oh, be still my heart. I love Star Wars. I loved the newest Star Wars, Force Awakens. I'm excited for Rogue One. I appreciate all of you sweet friends that have been texting me and like DMing me and asking me about Star Wars, I will be your nerdy Star Wars friend. I'm already the nerdy Star Wars one in my marriage. I will be that in our friendship. I gotcha. I'll take care of you guys. But So I couldn't end my April favorites without having Star Wars on there. So that's it. Um, my birthday is this week. I am super excited. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, we've got some family stuff going on. If you guys follow on Twitter or Snapchat, my dad's actually in the hospital with really bad pneumonia. Um, hopefully he will get better. I've been saying prayers. Thank you guys for all of the prayers and the kind thoughts. I really appreciate that. I will keep you updated on that. Um, but that being said, this will probably not be a very big celebration year because family is obviously at the hospital and running around and doing all those things. So I'm sure it will still be a great birthday. I'm just really excited for my dad to get feeling better because pneumonia when you are getting older is the pits. But anyway, so it is my birthday week, although I'm one of those people that celebrates a birthday month because why not, you know? I've been rocking the birthday month since I was like 10. I'm all about it. But I'm sure I will have more favorite things to show you guys. I will show you any makeup or present hauls that I think would interest you guys because I always try to get things that you guys would actually care about. And um, if you want to see the berry some, oh, you can't even see it because I pulled it off. But you can see there's a little bit tint left there, but it's jelly because I didn't wait long enough. But I tried to wait as long as possible before I took it off to show you guys. But regardless, I'm excited for this month. It has been a good month already. I hope you guys are having a good month. Is there anything awesome that's happened that you guys want to tell me about? Or are there any beauty products that you'd like me to recommend? I am always searching out the ones that you guys recommend to me or want me to test out and try for you. I have all sorts of videos coming, so stick around. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, you can always say hi on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. They're all style assisted. Or you can go say hey on Snapchat. And that is Adriel Page. Oh my goodness, there are so many social media outlets and channels and ways for you to say hi. So go ahead and do one of those, or you can just chat below. But it has been a long enough video. I will let you guys go back to doing whatever you're going to do. I'm going to drink some tea and go hang out with my husband and my dogs and enjoy my birthday month. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, next up is... This, which is the small, it's a Kate Spade, and it's a small Lauren. Um, I love it. So it's hot pink, sort of almost the color of my fuchsia lipstick, which, by the way, is, it's a Clinique chubby stick in the color Pudgy Peony, which is adorable. But anyway. Hey, guys. It's Adriel from Style Assisted, and today I'm going to do a March Favorites. No. I really made a mess. There's stuff all over the floor now. I just sort of showed it to you and then threw it on the floor. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best plan. Oh, I'll clean it all later. Oh, you guys, I need to film a brow tutorial for you. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I keep meaning to do it and then I already have my brows done and then I got on camera and I'm like, oh. Sorry. I'll be better. I promise. Do you guys have a favorite tea? Anyone? Tea? I don't like coffee. Is that weird that I don't like coffee? Just tea. I'm not a coffee person. I love the smell of coffee. I hate the taste. I've tried every kind of coffee known to man. i tried every kind of sweetener. Not. Like, I hate coffee ice cream. I hate coffee flavored anything. I can taste the coffee or the espresso and tiramisu. Ugh. I just hate it. I can, one puts two drops of coffee in their chocolate frosting, I can taste it. I just don't like coffee. But I love tea. So, do you guys have a favorite tea? Do you have a favorite coffee? What do you guys do when you need energy besides sleep? Because sometimes that's just not an option. So, tea. It's good stuff.
stuff, although I think this is decaf. That's not helpful. Oh well, that's tasty.